crucible used for the company's Titanic expeditions. Take your shoes off, that's customary. Okay. Wow. Inside, the sub has about as much room as a minivan. So this is not your grandfather's submersible. <laughs> we only have one button, that's it. It should be like an elevator. You know, it shouldn't take a lot of skill. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Come on! I, I've been in this business for about four decades, and this is the, as tense as I've ever seen the community, or sense the community. Uh, it is a race against time. You're fighting uh, oxygen levels. They should have a day or two more left of oxygen. Also fighting the cold if the sub is still in the bottom because the deep ocean is just above freezing cold, so hypothermia is an issue. Uh, I think one of the biggest things, where is it? Is it on the bottom? Is it floating? Is it midwater? A search and rescue operation is underway for a submersible touring the wreckage of the Titanic. Officials are in a race against time to find a civilian submersible that had five people aboard after it went missing Sunday. In the North Atlantic while voyaging to the wreckage of the Titanic, the 21-foot vessel has four days of emergency capability. The leader of search and rescue efforts said Monday afternoon as crews with the U.S. and Canadian Coast Guards continued, scouring the ocean's surface about 900 miles east of Cape Cod and used sonar to listen for sounds far below the water which is up to 13,000 feet deep in the area the five people on board the vessel which was on an expedition to view the Titanic wreckage comprised one pilot and four mission specialists Rear Admiral John Mauger commander of the U.S. Coast Guard's 1st District said Monday in a news conference he didn't identify the five and said authorities still were in the process of contacting family members he referred reporters to the group conducting the expedition ocean gate expeditions for information about what the term mission specialist entails we're working very closely at this point to make sure that we're doing everything that we can do to locate the submersible and rescue those on board Mogger said the Canadian research ship Polar Prince on Sunday notified the military branch it had lost contact with the underwater vessel according to Coast Guard spokesperson Lieutenant Samantha Corcoran in a tweet the Coast Guard said the communication stopped approximately 1 hour 45 minutes into the vessel's dive time is. A factor officials said in terms of the hours we understood that that was 96 hours of rescue or emergency capability. From the operator Mogger told reporters and so we anticipate that there's somewhere between 70 to the full 96 hours available at this point a British businessman based in the United Arab Emirates Hamish Harding is one of the people on the submersible according to a social media post by the company he owns, Action Aviation. The sub had a successful launch and Hamish is currently diving the company said in an Instagram post on Sunday Harding was one of the first people to travel the Challenger deep in the Pacific Ocean the deepest known point on Earth. On Saturday he wrote of the Titanic mission I am proud to finally announce that I joined Ocean Gate Expeditions for their RMS Titanic mission as a mission specialist. On the sub going down to the Titanic so guys hopefully you have liked this informative video and if you liked this video subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for latest updates.